Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mr. Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to talk about the time management for our upcoming CSIR Net Physics Exam as well as for the Gate Physics Exam. Now guys, as we all know that in any exam, time is a very important factor. And also since our exams are in the CBT mode, that means computer based test. So in this kind of exam, it is like a very 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 important factor it's like actually a very important factor in all the exams but in computer based test it becomes a very 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 important factor so how we can manage our time in any of the exams we are going to talk about that thing today in this video so guys if you are preparing for the upcoming CSI or net physics exam or for the gate physics exam I'm going to share some of the very important points with all of you which will help you to save your time and to like do more number of questions in the exam. So guys what you need to do when you are going to start solving the questions in the exam initially during your preparation phase make a time bound for your questions like the category the section of that particular question from which it is belonging and depending on that the weightage of marks and all those things when you will observe and analyze after that you can have a time bound that okay for this particular section question I am just going to allot 2 minutes 3 minutes or depending on the type of question you are having clear and after that when you are going to read that question when you are going to solve that question and if in the exam the time is going to exceed from the time which you have considered which you have decided that okay this is the time I will devote in a particular question in a particular section so if the time is exceeding what you can do you can just mark that question for review and then do the next question because you can't devote too much time in one single question initially okay but in this way when you are planning like okay this much time I will devote for a particular question in this section or that section then what do you need to do you need to plan these things in such a way that at the end your time like you should have some extra time okay so before the exam is going to get uh, going to end before that you should have some extra time clear and what you can do within that extra time whatever questions you will mark for review during when you were solving the questions clear so guys those questions you can try at the end in the remaining time which you have saved after planning the time or the duration for different questions okay in the exam so that's how you can save your time and you can manage it very well so this is something you have to decide during your preparation time and if you have not decided it yet this is also like the time when you can take that decision when you can decide this thing as per your calculation speed as per this thing that how much time you generally need to solve one question clear and just by looking at one question if you are getting to know about it like okay the concept you know but the calculation can be the very lengthy calculation which will not be possible for you to solve just within two minutes or one and a half minute whatever time you have decided so what you can do directly mark it for review and just move to the next question just switch to the next question and start solving that okay so you have to take the quick decision in the exam and that's how you can manage your time very well and it is very 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 important for all the upcoming exams clear whether it's computer based whether it's online or offline for both kind of exams it's going to be a very important thing clear so guys i hope that the discussion which i have done in this video will be helpful for all of you but still if you will have any doubt at any point you can let me know about it you can comment below this video and we will try to discuss those points as well also guys if i'm going to talk about the way how you can prepare very well and how you can get the guidance uh, by all the top educators for your exam preparation so guys for that you can also take the unacademy plus subscription and after taking the unacademy plus subscription you will get so many benefits like you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your exam preparation also guys weekly quizzes doubt clearing sessions mock tests PDF of important notes, recordings of the live classes will be available to you. So that's how you can see like there are so many benefits you will get after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription. And you can prepare very well for your exam. You can score good marks in the exam. So that's how 
you can prepare with the help of Unacademy Plus subscription. There are so many courses going on on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam preparation. So guys, if you want to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also while taking the subscription, if you will use the referral code that is Anjali Arora, in which you just need to write A capital, the first A capital and all other alphabets in small and no space in between. So if you will use this referral code, if you will apply it, you will also get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. So guys, I hope that each and everything which I have discussed with all of you in this video will be clear to all of you. Also guys, one more thing that what are the steps to take the Unacademy Plus subscription? Let me just tell you about them. So step number one is download the Unacademy Learning app. After that, log into the app. Then select your goal. Goal will be CSI or UGC net if you are preparing for CSI or net physics exam. After that, just follow the further steps. You will have three lines at the left hand side corner. Just click on those three lines, then click on plus, then click on get subscription and follow the further steps. At the place of referral code, you can write the referral code Anjali Arora. Clear as I have told you about it. Uh, a capital, the first A capital, all, all other alphabets in a small and no space in between. And that's how you will easily be able to get the subscription and you will be able to get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on our Academy Plus for your exam preparation. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.